All right, so after searching weeks for a gasket for this guy, this is a GFB hybrid blow-off valve that came with the 2008 Legacy that I purchased. It was literally just sitting in the trunk and um, I tried to look for a gasket for it because it was missing one and this one doesn't have the one that's embedded in there. So I wasn't gonna pay $30 for it just because it was ridiculous and the stock one is just fine. But luckily the shop near my house, uh, shout out to SSI, Superior Subian Import. They had one of these in stock for really cheap. So we are gonna go ahead and install it today. Should be pretty quick, literally two screws in a tube from what I can tell. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm really excited. As you know, with these cars, it's not recommended you replace the stock bypass valve unless it's cracked or your fuel trims are off or whatnot. But I just wanna play around with the 2008 Legacy just cause I did buy it as a beater. And the fact that it came with one of these is really cool. So let's go install it and then I'll get some sound clips. And since this is an EJ, the stock bypass valve is literally right here. Whereas in the FAs, if some of you may know, it's all the way under the car through there and it's kind of painful to get to. So luckily this one is literally just a couple of screws and then we should be done with the install. And I'm not going to get into the settings or anything like that for now. I just want to get it installed and then see how it sounds. The first thing is to remove this tube right here and then there's this retaining clip right here then you got these two 10 millimeter bolts right here let's pop those off and that should do it oh my gosh that was easy quick stock to aftermarket comparison. I'm gonna grab this retaining clip, compress it, this side through. Make sure it's in there as far as you can. And release. Grab the gasket, put it over the intercooler. Then hold it down with the 10 millimeter bolts. And just make sure it's snug. Don't over tighten it. And lastly, don't forget this tube right here. There we go. And it's weird, but there's nothing that's holding it on there. So just to recap, it was super easy. Two 10 millimeter bolts, one on each side, this clip, and then this tube. And you're literally done. So I'm gonna try to get some sounds from the exterior. So I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro. Okay, so I don't know if you guys heard that, but there were some really, really, really loud pops. I mean, at least to me, they're super loud. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get some shots from the outside exhaust so you guys can hear the pops. I think it's a little too loud for my liking, but it does sound cool.
I'm back on the Sony. That was obnoxiously loud, and I'm not sure if I want to keep it that way. I got a text from my good buddy Austin. Lives around the corner, and he texted me with some pops and bangs because he was able to hear me from down the street. So it's cool, but I think I'm only gonna run it for a couple days, maybe a week, uh, just because I don't want the neighbors to get pissed off. But that was super loud. And actually, it's making the idle run a little rough. So if I give it a little bit of gas, it dips way below to the point where it seems like it's gonna shut off. That's what it sounds like for you guys wondering. And this car came with the Cobb downpipe as well as an SPT catback. And don't worry about that, that's my clutch. It needs the pedal replacement. All right, here it goes. So we are about 3,500 RPMs. Still going the speed limit, but as soon as I get off the gas, yeah. I'm gonna, I can't, this is obnoxious. I'm gonna turn back. All right, let's do one more. It's putting a smile to my face, but I know I'm not gonna like it in the long run. And I'm pretty sure that the blow off valve is making the car run rich, therefore it pops because it wasn't doing it before, now it's doing it. So I'm sure with a little bit of uh, adjustment and fine tuning, we can tone it down a little bit. Okay, so I just got back from the gym. Disregard everything I just said about the GFB blow off valve causing the car to pop. I did a little bit of research, which I should have done in the first place. I'm sure a lot of you know this already, but I didn't. The reason why it's a hybrid is because you can change whether you want it to vent the atmosphere or recirculate. And earlier, I noticed that the opening was completely open, meaning that it vented to atmosphere 100%. That's why it was causing the fuel trims to be off, the idle to be rough, and it was popping loud. Figured out how to close that up, and now I'm running full recirculation. So the idles are fine, the fuel trims are good, and it doesn't pop anymore. And all I had to do was turn this thing right here, which closes off this, meaning it's fully recirculating. Now if you do it, go this way, fully uh, atmosphere so that's what was causing the fuel trims to be skewed and the reason for the pops and there's also these preload settings here but I think I'm gonna leave that alone for now so I know a lot of people get these blow-off valves for the cool sounds but I'd rather have the car running healthy than to have the cool sounds so honestly I don't know all the benefits that this thing has right now since it is fully recirculating just like the OEM one, my guess is that it'll hold boost a little better. I'm pushing 18 pounds of boost, so hopefully this aftermarket blow-off valve can handle that power a little better than the factory one. But for now, disregard everything I said. I just wanna fine tune the settings to where it's running perfectly as it can. And I know there's also preload settings on the blow-off valve, so I need to familiarize myself on how to do that. It's a cool little experience. I'm gonna enjoy the car a little more, and uh, yeah. So thank you for watching today's vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.